the salute! DJ, none for you! Well, welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and once again, I have received a most auspicious package. This one comes to me from Ezekiel, create with Ezekiel, also known as EZE, and I'm really, uh, really quite excited about this one, so let's get it open and see what this genius has sent me today. Right, well, if you've been paying attention to what's been going on in the hobby lately at all, you'd probably been able to guess that it is, of course, EZE's Mythic Drum Magazine, a 50-round half-dart drum that I am really excited to build and test. It looks really, really cool. Uh, there is a note in the box saying, read the instructions, and uh, I'm gonna, because I'm looking at this and I, I could probably stumble my way through it, but that just doesn't seem... Uh, like the best way to go about it. So I'm gonna look up the instructions and uh, I'm assemble this thing. I have it built, I think, and now I need to load it. And it gives convenient loading instructions right here on the neck, and uh, I'm gonna give it a try. Lying down, and it should, should, should be reloaded. So, uh, let's give it a magnum. Right. I'm here with my Meowser. Let's see if it'll do a nice, clean mag dump on the first try. <laughs> right. Well, it mag dumps beautifully. I will probably demonstrate that again later just because mag dumps are fun. But does it plink? So I'm going to take it to the range and I'm going to plink with my latest finished mod, my Tryon. Got it all painted up and uh, I'm going to plink with it because it's got slam fire. I also got the out of dart scar bill for it. So we'll see if it's a little more accurate and we'll see how well this thing feeds slam firing. Here we go. Right. I'm here on the range. It's a gorgeous day. I've got my newly painted Tryon. I've got one of the spacers on the spring, so it's not full power, but it's not weakest. I've got that drum on there. And we gonna see how well this thing fades a Springer. And can I hit any bottles? Oh, so close. I got him. Yeah, I got a few rounds left. Now we test the slam fire. <laughs> rounds complete. Neri, a floor. Magnum. <laughs> Let's go back to the shop. Talk about it. Right, let's talk about this thing. So, it is svelte. It is everything you would want from a drum. The printing is always against the grain, so there's no risk of it like snapping off right here. It was printed wisely. Heavy spring train. Um, it'll hold 51 rounds. There are longer necks, which will increase the capacity a little bit. I was sent a slightly longer one. There is apparently an even longer one. They do require a slightly different follower. 
Um, once you get used to the load, it's not too bad. It's still definitely slower than reloading a stick mag. Um, and as a result, you know, when and where you might use this might be slightly limited. I would not probably use this in a full auto blaster, maybe as my first magazine, as long as I definitely had somewhere to put it, make sure that it would actually fit in my dump pouch. There's that train. Uh, but for something like a, a Springer, this would be an excellent blaster in a competitive round where your lim ammo is limited, but this way you could have 50 rounds and never have to reload. Um, that's pretty pretty awesome. And as we saw, it will it'll keep up with a, a decent rate of fire. I've been told it won't keep up with the rate of fire in something like a Pew Pew that has, you know, 40 rounds a second. It can't quite feed that fast, apparently. I haven't actually tried it. I was warned not to. And I'm just gonna go ahead and listen to that advice. But my Meowser has a slightly lower rate of fire, or a considerably lower rate of fire, at a very controllable rate, and it worked just fine with that. I haven't had a single jam with the, the Meowser, and then on the Springer, again, no issues with it jamming even on slam fire as fast as I could go. It feeds beautifully. I don't actually have any idea how that works, but I find it pretty awesome that it uh, doesn't have any interrupts when it's feeding. It's, it's smooth. It's amazing. Um, so yeah, I am impressed. We've been wanting a good drum mag for half dart for a long time and easy Ezekiel has has come through. So I dig it. I dig it. I might try it on my pew pew on lower settings, but I don't think I'd ever want to use it in my pew pew. So I'm, I'm not terribly, terribly worried about whether or not it would in fact work. So yeah, there it is. The Ezekiel drum mag for half darts. Link will be in the description. My thanks to Ezekiel for sending this. I may paint it up in my colors a little bit more. Um, he requested that I, I, I go with uh, good contrast colors so you could really see it on camera, and I, I just that was a good idea. Um, I may paint up some of it in more orange and more of it in black, and then and maybe not because it actually the contrast probably the white parts I will paint, but uh, the rest I might just leave because it, it's got good contrast. Looked great in the Meowser, I mean. I mean, I mean, look at it. Look at it. It's so beautiful. Yes. I dig it. All right. That's enough of that. Thank you for watching.